How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Monomator tip. So a little issue you might face in Monomator, particularly if you're trying to do some rigging, putting, uh, you know, characters together or face rigs and things like that, is an issue called Z clipping or Z fighting, texture fighting, something like that. And what that is, is two textures that occupy the same space. We're going to go ahead and spawn in a block here. Uh, two textures that occupy the same space and thus the program doesn't really know which one to render. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a couple of different blocks. Let's see if we can let's do a wood plank and uh, a stone block. So for now, everything seems to be okay. You don't really have any issue, but obviously these two blocks are in the exact same location. If we bring these over, they're both in the zero location now, and uh, one has overtaken the other. But if we move them a bit, let's go ahead and just kind of move this one around. You see this weird, pattern and obviously when we start panning around this uh, we get this issue of the textures fighting each other and the further out we go then generally the more of a problem it becomes that may be way too small for you to see uh, but what I found is that the distance from the object the more the problem is pronounced and thus the more distance is required to stop the issue so uh, let's just take this and let's put it back here Let's move it over just a tad and uh, let's see if we can instigate this problem real quick like let's bring this over about how about zero one something like that and uh, as you can see up close we don't really have an issue we can pan around it and stuff like that when we back out you can see that okay the problem is beginning to happen and then the further out we go then the problem becomes more and more pronounced so what we want to do is bring this out just a tad. Usually what I would do is bring it out just to say like 0 0.1. Sometimes you can go like 0, 0, 0.05 or something. The closer you're going to be to it, then the smaller the number can be. Uh, so it really just depends on how you're shooting your scenes and whatnot. So as you can see there, we can get further back without the problem occurring. But uh, the further we go, then that happens. So as we go ahead and increase the distance here, let's make that 0, 0 or 0, 0.1. So now we can back out and the problem becomes noticeable, you know, the further out we go and so on and so forth. As you can see there, it's kind of clipping if you if you can see that. Uh, so if I bring the distance a little bit further out from it, then we can see that the problem is no longer really happening as much. And of course, it seems to happen more when you move the camera rather than when the camera is stationary. In any case, that's a simple fix. All you have to do is just kind of offset the blocks just ever so slightly, and you'll see that uh, they're not gonna fight as much anymore. And you can always just look at the block and kind of get an idea of how far out it is and try to, to make it the smallest distance possible to uh, get rid of the Z clipping issue. Oftentimes if you're making a face rig or whatever, if you can get this just right with a very small number, then you won't even really notice that there's much of a difference between the two. And uh, you can have a good looking rig without seeing those textures fighting each other and flickering all over the place. So that's it for this tip, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. If you did, then feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to become a citizen today. And I will see you guys in the next video.